What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. Sunday evening, 7.25 on Saturday, October 19th, 2024. Uh, I just finished a uh, the start of the Jewish holiday of Sukkot, also known as the Festival of Tents. Today, while we were praying, a friend of mine that I just repaired his American Standard Train 80% gas-fired furnace. He told me Mikey Pipes, and he called me Mikey Pipes, actually. <laughs> Keeping it real. He goes, um, the lights were flickering last night, and in the whole house, I think we had a power surge, and now the furnace is not working. I'm like, I'm like, come on, bro, really? <laughs> I, I got no parts for your thing. <sighs> but I actually do. And that's one of the benefits of calling my company, Pipe Doctor Home Services. If you live in the New York, Long Island metropolitan area, I carry a lot of parts in my warehouse and in my trucks because we specialize in plumbing, heating and cooling, service and repair. We do replacements too. Water heaters, sewer drain stoppages, toilets, sinks, leaks, Water jetting, furnaces, boilers, heat pumps, we do it all. We're a full service HVAC and plumbing contractor. No job too big, too small. Well, actually there's a job that's too big. I'm not building a skyscraper, I'm sorry. I don't do new construction. I do not do very I do very little renovations. I don't work for contractors unless it's Rocco from RSM, custom hole building. Because we have these, we share the same quality of work ethic. All right, let me stop ranting and raving. Let's go to the service call. All right, so I uh, I took out the ICM 2812. This was the uh, furnace integrated control board that was in here and looks a little sus right there. A little sus. It's got some like residue on there, but I think it's just part of that. It's dead. So what it's doing now is it goes through the whole sequence of operations. The inducer motor kicks on. We get the main valve opens, but what we don't have is 120 volts, 110 volts going to the hot service igniter. I check my hot service igniter again, <clears throat> and I'm getting 65 ohms of resistance. So I'm within specifications for that. Um, I took out one of these Emerson boards from the other truck. Uh, this is kit 18-1110. This is supposed to be like the solution. Now we did a lot of work here. We got a new blow motor in here last year, capacitor, transformer, last week a gas valve. This, the inducer assembly is quite sus packed and this thing broke off when I was testing so I, I grabbed one of those from my uh, my truck and uh, for now I just bypassed it but still nothing I thought maybe it was broken and that's why I wasn't getting 110 volts there but no I bypassed it and it's still <sighs> all right let's uh, get the show on the road here all right so let's start with the wiring so this is our transformer neutral and let's put that right there okay this is our transformer hot let's put that on x former h this is gonna be our neutral from our blower motor let's just put that on one of these neutrals here uh let's see is there a neutral is a parks i don't see a neutral for the blower so let's use electronic air cleaner actually yes yeah, circ or circulation put that there <sighs> okay the black wire is going to be heat high speed we're going to take the yellow wire which is our medium low let's put that on park take the blue and put that on heat that's we may have to reverse that 
And here is our inducer assembly, hot surface igniter. Here's the harness going to everything else. Okay, this is black. This is going to be line hot. Line neutral, no. Where is line hot? Oh, come on, don't mess with me. Oh, there it is, line hot. Okay, and we have line neutral. Put that there. Let's wire in that sensor. And as I always say, I lead by example. And I would want my team to do what I'm doing. Let me get a better view. So not do as I do. I'm sorry, not do as I say but do as I do. By the way, these stupid little sensors here, and they're ridiculously expensive. They really are. This little thing right here. Man, train like to put it right up your keister. At the end of the day, bigger expense of the homeowner. to go in there. Okay. Now let's this wire right here. Okay. Oh, oh get in there. Oh come on. Effort me, you mother effort you. This red wire is going to be a park, but we'll do that in a minute. Let's get this bad boy up and running. I just got a wire in my uh, my thermostat wire. Okay, let's wire in the thermostat wire. Let's get that done right now. Get my little baby screwdriver out. Okay, all right. Now we have red. We have yellow, white, and green. Red, yellow, white, and green. Okay, now, let's hook this up onto the top. <sighs> okay. Let that be a god. Okay, we have a flash. Okay, we have inducer assembly. Oh yeah, there it is. There's a hot surface igniter. There's gas valve. There's ignition. <laughs> I uh, ripped out the door switch. My, uh, that orange little thing I have, to, that just wasn't work. And I was like, you know what? I'm just so frustrated because I wasted so much time here. So just waiting on that blower to kick on. I'm gonna put a wire nut on that red wire. Oh, I'm gonna put it in the park, one of the two. Just wait for that blower to kick on. On blower. There's blower. Houston, we have ignition, we got heat. Smash that thumbs up button, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed my 
Saturday night emergency heating service call. We're in between those seasons, you know. I kid you not. I was in the pool this afternoon. The pool was set to 89 degrees. It was 72 here in the great state of New York. It was nice, but the house was a little chilly. Now it warmed up. And remember, if you live in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area, you're tired of getting bamboozled by your plumber or HVAC contractor. Give me a call, 516-348-6300, or save time, book online at pipedoc.net. It's been a pleasure keeping you company for the last, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so on this video. I really appreciate you guys' support to the channel. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Should I have put in a surge protection device as well? Well, he goes, listen, I don't really got the money. I'm like, okay, well, if it happens again because of a power surge or a bad neutral or something going on in your house, you know, you need to talk to an electrician. And if he gives you the, 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 uh, the all clear, we're good. But you may have a problem. Like, again, I don't know what caused it, but we fixed it. And I'm glad I was able to get him up and running. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be well. God bless. Stay safe.